For the first time, a 17-year-old girl spoke publicly about surviving a horrific attack outside a restaurant in St. John's County. I believe there's no looking back now. Everything happens for a reason. I'm incredibly lucky to be alive today. 17-year-old Madison Shemitz also announced today that the attack has left her paralyzed from the chest down. She is now living life one day at a time and plans to give back to the community that supported her this past month. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding visited the rehab facility where Madison delivered her message. Now, the suspect in this attack, Madison's ex-boyfriend, was not mentioned at the news conference today. Today was all about Madison and how she's doing. She says even though she's currently paralyzed from the chest down, she knows she will one day walk again. She says with family, friends, the community support, and those here at Brooks Rehab, she will succeed. Earlier this week, we got a tiny glimpse into 17-year-old Madison Chemitz's recovery when her mom posted this photo online. Now Madison is sharing her story of survival in her own words. There's no looking back now. Everything happens for a reason. I'm incredibly lucky to be alive today and will take each day as its own opportunity to live and make a difference in the world. Sitting with her was her mom and her recovery team at Brooks Rehab and a personal army of family, friends and teammates wearing green t-shirts in support. Kennedy Armstrong was also there, the Good Samaritan who stopped the attack and saved Madison's life. Though he chose not to speak today, Madison couldn't say enough about him. I am forever endlessly grateful for the brave acts you showed. Kennedy is and forever will be my hero and is now a family for life. Madison says she plans to launch a One Love Foundation chapter at Ponte Vedra High School, where she'll soon be a senior. One Love is named in honor of Yardley Love, a University of Virginia student who was murdered by her ex-boyfriend. The foundation aims to spread awareness about relationship abuse. Though she has a long road ahead, Madison says nothing stands in her way. I'm a high school senior, I'm going to go and take it as it comes and go to college and do everything as a normal high school kid would do. And her message to other survivors. That it's going to be okay. Every day is its own day and you just have to take it one day at a time. A young survivor determined to persevere. <laughs> with a team and community behind her along the way. From Brooks Rehabilitation, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.